everybody, and welcome to another episode of the How to Fit podcast by Full Spectrum Education. So uh, we have our resident experts, Serge Romano and Rob Howe on the show today. Tonight's topic being career versus job, which is more achievable and why? Now, I'm going to, thought I would uh, be selfish tonight, gentlemen, lead this off. Um, for me, absolutely 100%, uh, as someone who works with kids every day, my one and only message is you want to get yourself into a, into a position to have the option of having a career. Simply for the fact that a career ignites passion, it ignites direction, and it ignites longevity. A job is, I've got three days till the weekend. Now, for me, the minute you are living for the weekend, and by the way, just while we're on the topic, Family should be everybody's number one. So for anyone listening to the podcast, I don't want you to think that, you know, I'm saying that it shouldn't be. It absolutely should be. So let's get that off, get on the table. But following up from that, when you are at, let's call it work, shall we? You want to feel like you are with your, almost like you are with your family. You are invested. You are engaged because your deliverables and your uh, ability to, give back to the community will be significantly higher. And uh, Serge, I couldn't think of a better man to ask that question to, someone who uh, is uh, 21 with experience, indefinitely. Uh, let's, um, let's hear about what keeps you youthful, my friend. Oh, well, as far as the you know, job versus career thing, I'm, I'm going to say something very interesting right now. Your, your question or the question that we're asking is, what, what's easier? Right? Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, essentially, yeah. That, that is definitely a way to interpret it. For okay. Sure. So the answer to that question is the job is easier. Mm-hmm. Anyone can get a job. No problem. Mm-hmm. And people are doing it because... And, and let's be real about this in, in the world and in our environment today or any time. And that is that people need a job to survive or to feed their families or to, you know, not have to worry about going and getting unemployment benefits if that's what they want to do. So my point with that, with a little bit of a tongue in cheek, is that anyone can go and get a job. That's the easy bit. But if you really want to be happy and passionate and be super engrossed in what you do with the people that you do it with, then find the career and, and understand that if you, if, and when you find that, that's where you will be. Um, we, we spoke about this on another podcast where, you know, you give your all right. Then it's all about, you know, giving you your whole self into what you're doing. And my honest and genuine belief is if you don't love what you're doing, leave. And it might be that you have to go through a a number, you know, kiss a number of frogs before you get to the prince, right? And that might be the case, but please don't stop until you find that thing, okay? Because otherwise, as you said, Ben, quite rightly, you'll be sitting there going, it's three days before the weekend, and you don't want to you don't want to live like that. So that would be you know where I sit. Oh, and one more thing, if I may. You may. Don't worry. You know, kids especially, and when I say kids, teenagers, even early twenties, don't worry that you haven't got your so-called career at this point in time. It's can I can I ever so slightly use profanity right now? I I will allow it. It's bullshit <laughs> to think that you've got your life sorted by the time you're 20 or 21. That's just ridiculous. So take the time, understand who you are, you know, grow within yourself. And if you find your career at the age of 40, so be it. That's my advice. Well said. 
I uh, don't have a lot to follow up with that, so I'm just going to hand it on to Rob. Rob, your thoughts. Yeah. Um, I'm just I'm going to piggyback off a lot of what you both said. I mean, it's um I think it's an I think it's an obvious choice, um, especially for um, us three um, being where we are. Um, basically, the most achievable thing or the easiest thing, like you said, would be just to get a job. Um, what's the most rewarding thing? I think we're going to agree that putting yourself in the position to um, go and get a career um, is more rewarding. Um, I'll go around. I'll probably add just a few things here and there. I think. Um, one of the things I'll just throw in there, we were talking about a surgery, just as we finished off saying, um, don't be so worried if you haven't got your career sorted from a from an early age um, or something like that. Um, getting a job in high school or basically whenever you can start um, is, whatever it might be, um, is super, super um, helpful and important and teaches you a lot of things. I actually probably got oh. set up, I actually got set up more for, what I, what I do now, I think, um, I shouldn't say that. I won't say that. I'll say that my part-time job that I had working as a Woolworths um, night manager gave me a lot of skills that I wouldn't have got and, um, basically with my um, studies and things like that, um, becoming a physiotherapist. I won't say it's the most, but I learned some very, very important skills that I still use on a, on a day-to-day basis from just that job. Um, it teaches you things like discipline. Um, it teaches you a lot of things. Um, that's the first thing. So I would say is um, there is there is a, definitely a big advantage um, and definitely something to say about getting a job early, no matter what it is, and just developing a work a work ethic, developing a routine, developing discipline, um, earning money, all that sort of thing, getting a taste for it. Um, in terms of a career and job, I think the um, I jump in on that point. It was just really good for our young listeners. Yeah. Don't worry about what your first job is. Don't worry about having to be a manager. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about that. Enjoy the experience for what it is. Value your education. But more importantly, like Rob said, take out of it what you can. Yeah. Okay. Like That's a much better way life, to put it. Those life lessons. Sorry, Rob. Keep going. No, you summarized that much better. Than I, I was trying to get to the point and I just completely lost it. Well done, man. <laughs> <laughs> So I knew it was it was a really good it was a really good point. I just couldn't I just couldn't. Make this will be the first and only time that you will refer to me as succinct. So let's roll with that. <laughs> is there, is, hey, hey Ben, is there a button whenever we <laughs> stuff up with what we say that we get like you know eliminated from the podcast? <laughs> what happens? Maybe there should be. I would be eliminated. I would be, um, be eliminated. <laughs> to finish off tonight's show, gentlemen, I would love to share maybe a little anecdote with our audience, uh, just for. More so for our parents who are getting their kids to listen to any of this or any of, you know, friends friends of our companies that, you know, are listening to three of us talk. Um, what were our first jobs? Or well, where did we first work? What was, I'm going to share mine. Mine's uh, obviously got a, you know, quite an amusing uh, job. So, you know, obviously that's why I want to share it. But I'm interested to hear you as well. Uh, Rob, why don't you kick us off? So I started as a, as a bartender, if you want to call it that. Um, I was pretty much manning the bar on my own at this uh, leagues club back up in my small town of Ingham. And basically it was at the rugby union club where I played rugby. And um, basically it just had all the, all the old boys who used to play rugby, who used to come in on a Friday night and um, just drink beer and watch football. And um, that was a, a really good experience as a 15 year old working or 15 or 16 year old working in that scenario. Um, uh, yeah, that was my first job. It, I enjoyed it a lot. I learned a lot of things from it. How to do maths pretty quickly. Love it. Serge? My first job, I'm going to take out the fact that my, so my dad had a, had a butcher shop. He was a butcher by trade. And like I would go into the butcher shop with dad when I was only 10 or 11 or 12 years old and pretended to do some work. But, you know, that was that. Um, but uh, my very first job was selling records in a record store in Footscray in Melbourne. So uh, Footscray Mail Records awesome. is what it was. That's what it was called. And, uh, and at the, uh, I think I was about 16, 17 at the time, and just about to go into just finish stuff, you know, my year 11 and 12 stuff and going into uni. So that was my very first job selling records. Wow. And uh, for those playing at home, do we want to guess how old that makes Surge? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So me, I was actually my first job. I was uh, 12. 
Uh, Rob, you mentioned Howard Hewitt, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. I was uh, I was 12 for my first job, maybe 13, 12 or 13. Uh, so I was in uh, grade seven or grade eight. And um, my, um, yeah, it was, uh, I worked at a roller skating rink and uh, I was a DJ actually. And I did the, you know, the microphone voice, uh, which I will not be doing this evening. Can we get that? Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's in the bloopers episode. That's behind the scenes. Um, but yeah, no, I did that. And it, it, like you gentlemen, it, it, it taught me discipline. I taught me skills that I, I use today, you know, and I think that's the point of tonight's show, um, which I want all of our young listeners to take away from. Um, the job you start with will not be, will surely won't be the job that you end with. But take the lessons, take the learnings. Um, if you've got any questions, remember that the, the podcast is called How to Think. Bring your questions, email them in. It will inform future shows. It will inform future guests. Uh, guys, we are not, series one, we are not running guests because we were going to, but we've decided we want people participating. We want you contacting us. So please um, contact the podcast, ask your questions so we can inform our shows on that. And uh, gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure again. Um, stay safe, have a good week, and we will see you next week on the show.